Hey everybody, Bill here. I've got some Stadia news for you, but before we get to it, I have, I, I just want to put everything in context real quick. This is news that was supposed to come out yesterday and it never did. And a bunch of people were like, well, Bill's lying or whatever. And I, re you know, I'm not going to engage with those people. Um, you can think what you want, but I'm just going to give you the sequence of events that led to a video where, you know, thousands of you watched that video and then expected to hear news on Thursday and then no, no Thursday news came. And for that, I apologize. I probably jumped the gun a little too fast and I'm going to explain why. So first off, I was doing an Orcs Must Die 3 stream. Awesome game. Expect a review coming very, very soon. Um, but I was I was streaming Orcs Must Die 3 right here on the YouTube channel. I was having a blast, and people in chat were like, Hey, Bill, um, guess what? There's uh, a new post on the community blog. And I thought to myself, all right, well, they usually email me those, uh, those posts. So I'm just going to open up my email because I already have my email open in a window off to the side. I'll refresh my email, and sure enough, there was an email there. And so I figured, well, now's the perfect time. I'm going to just pause the game. I'll record um, my, you know, my analysis of the news, let everybody know about what's happening, and then we'll get back to the stream. And so I read the email and they said, well, Bill, you didn't talk about the deals. And I was like, well, I didn't, I didn't see anything in the email about the deals. There was something in the email about the deals. It was just a, a little thing down at the bottom, but that's beside the point. Well, okay, it was a big blue link that I didn't click on <laughs> uh, that took me to the actual blog post. So I redid everything where I was talking about what was in the email and what was in the blog post. And what I noticed was that there was something that was in the email that was not in the blog post. And at that point, I got kind of worried. I got worried that I had broken embargo. Um, embargo is when, you know, because of what I do, sometimes uh, publishers will give me information ahead of time and tell me, don't you tell anybody. And so I looked through that email again. I was pouring through it, making sure I didn't miss anything. And I'm 99.99999% I'm sure that I didn't. I'm going to put the, I've probably already put the email on the screen so you guys can see what they said. And there was nothing about an embargo on there. So I was like, all right, I can still tell people about what happened. So I re-recorded the video a second time to include all of the Stadia Pro deals because I wanted the people to know that they could save money on these games that were coming out. The piece of information that was in the email that was not in the community blog post said this. It said, heads up, on Thursday, we will announce more games coming to Stadia and a new developer Q&A goes up on Friday. Let me know if you want to receive these announcements. I was, of course, I want to receive these announcements, but I'm in the middle of a live stream. I'm recording a video. I'll reply to it later. So I did my video. I edited it. I posted it. When we did this all live while we're live on YouTube. And then I went back and finished up my stream of Works Must Die Through. Awesome game, by the way. Um, after my stream, I shut everything down. I got on um, my email and I replied and I said, yes, absolutely. I want to know more. What's what's happening? And then very, very quickly, I got another email back that told me, all right, this information is under embargo and you can't tell anybody about it. And it lists the games that we were going to get announced yesterday. And I was like, all right, cool. I went on, moved on with my life, figuring, all right. There's nothing, there's nothing more for me to really talk about, So, and it's all under embargo. I can't say anything. I'm just going to uh, play some Elder Scrolls Online or something. So um, a couple of hours later, I get another email that says, well, actually, I think that we're going to move these announcements to Friday. And so I replied back, and I was like, well, hold on a sec. Does, can I, I already said that there were announcements coming before there was an embargo. Is it okay if I tell everybody that they're still coming, but it's going to be on Friday instead so that people aren't disappointed and so that people don't think I'm a giant liar, which, of course, people did. And they said, actually, just please don't talk about the announcements until after they're on the official blog post. And I said, all right, thank you for the clarification. 
and figured whatever. And of course, there were a bunch of comments on uh, my YouTube channel that were calling me a liar and a sellout and blah, blah, blah. And I, I could not care less about what those people think of me. That's perfectly fine. I just want to say, and then we'll get to the news. And I know you guys have been sitting through this and I apologize, but I just want to say that I am never going to lie to you about something. It doesn't mean I won't get things wrong because obviously I got something wrong. Uh, I was told that it was going to be on Thursday. Thursday came and went, no news. And now everybody thinks that StadiaCast is not a trustworthy source. Pe well, I don't want to say StadiaCast. People think Bill is not a trustworthy source because Lloyd had nothing to do with this. This isn't his problem. Uh, this is because I jumped the gun. I posted a little too soon. Why did I post so soon? Because I was in the middle of a live stream when I got the email and it didn't say anything about the embargo. If I wasn't live when this happened, I simply would have replied to the email right then and said, yes, please tell me. I would have probably started working on a video and then I would have gotten the, the email back saying, here's the embargo. And I would have said, oh, okay, well then I probably shouldn't talk about this because there's an embargo. But because of the sequence of events that happened, I talked about something ahead of time. And for that, I apologize to Google. It was never my intention to break embargo. Uh, and I apologize to people who got their hopes up for news on Thursday. It came a day late, and there's nothing I can do about that other than to say, anytime that I say something, you can be sure it's because that's the thing that I believe. I'm never going to lie about it. Will I not tell you things because they're under embargo? Absolutely. I'm never going to break embargo. Uh, but you can be sure that you can trust the things that are coming out of my mouth while may or may not be true, they are the things that I think are true. And with all of that being said, let's get to the game announcements. So the three games that were announced today are Sniper Elite 4, which originally came out back in 2017. So it's a three-year-old game, but I've never played it. And so I'm looking forward to it. Here's what they have to say about Sniper Elite 4. Uh, Sniper Elite 4 combines genre-defending ballistics, breathless emergent stealth, and gripping third-person action across the largest and most diverse environments ever seen in a Sniper Elite game. Set in the aftermath of its award-winning pre predecessor, Sniper Elite 4 continues the series' World War II heritage by transporting players across the beautiful Italian peninsula from sun-drenched Mediterranean coastal towns to colossal Nazi megastructures, daunting forests, and mountain monasteries inspired by Monte Cassino. Covert agent and elite marksman Carl Fairburn must fight alongside the brave men and women of the Italian resistance to help free their country from the yoke of fascism and defeat the terrifying new threat with the potential to halt the Allied fight back in Europe before it's even begun. If his mission fails, there will be no Operation Overlord, no D-Day landings, and no victory in Europe. Uh, I have to say I've never played a Sniper Elite game. I've never really been good at uh, Sniper games, but that's always because those are the kind of games where you are playing on... Uh, well, the, the ones that I'm real bad at are the ones where you're playing online against other people. And I just my skill level just does not measure up against those, those others that are playing those games. Single-player sniper games, that sounds like more my jam. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing this game uh, when it comes to Google Stadia. The next game that was announced today is Strange Brigade. It came out two years ago. It's actually a game... I've never heard of it. Originally came out on the Xbox One and PC and PS4. It's an adventure shooter game, and here's what they have to say about it. There are remote corners of the British Empire where the supernatural lurks and the shadows linger, where few dare go and fewer return. In Strange Brigade, you'll encounter fantastic and forgotten civilizations shrouded in mystery. Uncover treacherous tombs and test your wits against the unfathomable foes. You'll explore the ancient world as one of four dashing explorers, each blessed with their own weapons, tactics, and special superhuman powers. You'll fight back-to-back -back against a terrifying army of mythological menaces, unleashed by no less than a resurrected Egyptian witch queen. With such ungodly evil afoot, the Strange Brigade needs you. 
Now, I watched a little bit of gameplay of this, and it looks really interesting. It's got co-op, it's got multiplayer, it's got single player, and it looks really, really fun. So I'm looking forward to playing Strange Brigade when it comes to uh, Google Stadia. The last game that was announced today is probably the one that I'm most excited for, and that is Super Hot Mind Control Delete. It's kind of like a sequel to Super Hot, which I just finished playing for the first time about a month ago uh, right on Google Stadia. That game is fantastic, and I can't wait to play Mind Control Delete when it comes to uh, Google Stadia. They don't have much to say about it on the uh, <laughs> where I was looking. It says Mind Control Delete is the first person shooter where time moves only when you move. No regenerating health bars, no conveniently placed ammo drops. You shouldn't be here. You have already won. Uh, so I'm very confused about that, but that's not a huge surprise as the original game was very confusing as well. Uh, if you haven't played Super Hot, it is one of the most in innovative shooters that I have played in the last few years. It's awesome. I loved my time with that game. It's really, really short. You can play it right now, super quick. In fact, the the original Super Hot, I'm going to put a link in the description down below that you can click to play. So you can just click it and start playing uh, Super Hot, and then you'll be ready when Mind Control Delete comes to Google Stadia. So there you have it. Those are our announcements for Google Stadia that were supposed to come out yesterday, but came out today instead. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching this. If you haven't already, click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell. Do all the YouTube things because it helps the YouTube algorithm tell other people that this is content worth watching. If you didn't know, we've got a podcast so you can listen to us talk about Google Stadia wherever you go. Just in whatever podcasting app you use, look for StadiaCast. And I've got a podcast that just finished up season three. It's all about the games that we love. It's called 143 Pixels. I hope you'll check that out. Again, wherever podcasts are downloaded, 143 Pixels. The numbers actually 143 Pixels, and you'll find it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.